Fight YouTube. We're going to play some more Death Shadow today. This is what I've been working with recently. Um, kind of changed a couple cards around here. I've been really unhappy with my last, whatever, three or so slots in this deck. Probably four or so. Which has been these cards right here. I think the rest of the list is like incredibly tight. But I have not liked the last four sideboard slots because they've either felt underpowered or um, they've either felt underpowered or narrow. And I decided that I wanted to move a sideboard slot to become a ceremonious rejection to help with more Tron and more KCI. I think Tron's becoming better positioned. And KCI is just a very good deck. Want to be ready for it. And then I decided to add two Liliana the Veils. Because while I think this card is pretty narrow, this card isn't as good against blue-white control and Jeskai control as it used to be. It is amazing in the Shadow Mirrors. It's, the it's like the best card to have in Shadow Mirrors. And it's pretty good against like Tarmogoyf decks also. So it is narrow, but I decided to run two of them. And then we've just got the Stalwart, one of Kologon's Command. Even though I think this card is worse than it used to be. Um, it is still just incredibly powerful if you can get to the late game. Because if you can get to the late game, you're going to be able to find it with all of your Thought Scours. And you're going to be able to potentially snap it back, which is when the card becomes unreal. So, that's kind of where we've been here. I played this in the challenge yesterday. Got 25th. Um, I think I made a couple mistakes. Was a little unlucky. Like, I mulliganed. I should have kept a no lander against KCI on 6. But I didn't, and that cost me the match, I think. Uh, I didn't know the numbers, and the numbers to draw land when you've got, like, it was 17 out of 54. Drawing just the land was, like, 53%. And my hand was very good. It was, like, Thought Scour, Serum Visions, Double Thought Seeds, Gurmag, Angler, Sur Surgical. And that wasn't even counting that I had, whatever, four redraws. So, yeah. So, and then I made a mistake, I think, against Dredge that cost me a match. And then I just got, I lost to the eventual winner in round three. With, and like, I don't think this deck can beat Bitter Blossom plus a little bit So let's just jump into it. Let's play a little bit this morning. We might play my sweet cube match. And then I'm, I'm two games into a cube that is pretty awesome at the moment. Re really cool deck. Uh, I actually have to put this up in my extension now. this live TV here. Extension. Make sure that my cardboard live is updated. We've been paired. I'm going to join while I do this. Sweet. What do we have? A little bit of a slow hand. We're going to keep it because it's just a million cantrips. But, um, yeah, we're, we're going to keep it. We're going to go Watery Grave Bobble Pass because we have, uh, actually, I want to cycle one Street Wraith. Because we might hit a discard spell. Alright, we hit another angler. So we're just going to yield through this turn. My opponent does something that we want to respond to, we can bobble, and maybe if there's like a stubborn denial on top of our deck, we can draw it. Alright, so we're playing against Fair Deck. Our hand's a little slow. Oh, we're playing against Spirits, okay. So, yield until next end step. We are going to bobble um, ourselves. If there's a Fatal Push on top, we'll draw it. There's not, so we're just going to untap here. Okay. So that's a little unfortunate. I think we're going to start off with a cycle here. Our hand's not very good against spirits. We still can't angler. We're not going to be able to angler until next turn, and we don't really have a lot of interaction. So we're, this land's coming into play tapped. Okay. 
Move them to my friend's stat. I think we're, we're probably gonna get run out of the gym here. Because we appear to be in a little bit of trouble. Click this so we can have our, have our source. Yeah, we're just like super, super dead at this point, I think. We have to draw like shadow next turn. If we draw shadow next turn, we have a chance. But I, I fetched the basic there just to be able to uh, leave more resources in my graveyard in case we get to the point of the game where casting the second Gurmag Angler is important. But you're just not going to win games in modern if you don't cast spell before turn three. And that's, that's what we did. This is unfortunate because this is a pretty poor draw for my opponent. everyone in the chat's having a good start to their day. There's a nice little Sunday. Oh. No. Okay. You'll do this turn. Okay. Had my, I forgot to take my headphones out, so the audio might have been a little whack. All right, so like a reflector mage. All right, we're going to go to scoop phase. Yeah, that was just a really poor draw. And it's like, you're just not going to win games in modern doing draws like that. So on the play, I like these, this, this, and these two veils on the play. Uh, we're going to cut these, and we're going to cut my stubborn denial. I like cutting all the denials. Um, I've been trying this since I've boarded in Liliana of the Veil vale on the play. On the draw, I like to have more denials, but, like, you can fight through a rest in peace with a Liliana. So, I've just been trying this out. I don't know if it's correct or not, but we're going to give it a whirl here. I do like Liliana on the play, and we still have the, what, the six discard spells to nab a rest in peace on two. I want more options on the draw, though. And I'll be boarding out my Veils for stubborn denials on the draw. I'm a big fan of boarding in Liliana in a lot of matchups on the play. And part of that is because, like, where it might not be super correct to do it, but I'm a big fan of the card. I like the play patterns that the card creates with a deck like this. So you're going to see me on the play sideboard this card in quite a bit. I think the Edict is pretty poor on the draw, though. Because, like, when, you're, when, when we're on the play here into Creature Deck, even if it's a Noble Hierarch deck, we've got whatever. We've got four, three six, nine pieces of spot removal on turn one to slow them down to make the Edict even better. And we can get under a uh, potential like Aether Vial, like we can discard an Aether Vial, which will make the Liliana even better. And the Banned Spirits deck is so clunky if you don't have an Aether Vial or a One Drop. Oh, God. I'm going to keep this hand. We have a removal spell, and we have Serum Visions plus Street Wraith. Like, his hand's pretty solid if we hit, like, a Blood Crypt. And, you know, we have, like, we have quite a bit of resources to do that. Famous last words. <clears throat> like, we get to look at one, two, three, four, five cards next turn to find our second land. So, if we don't hit a land after seeing five, six, seven cards, and like, so be it. I think that, like, I was talking about Liliana, and I think that it's, like, very, geez. All right, moment of truth. God, that's unfortunate. We looked at, we bottomed, we looked at 11, 13, we looked at 15 cards there, and we didn't see a second land. I don't think that Liliana is like super bad right now. I think it's like what you it's good for what you need, like in the matchups you need it, which is like the black green X decks in the mirror is becoming more popular and it's the best card in the mirror. 
And it's like decent. It's not as good as it used to be, but it is decent against the control decks. Yeah, and now we're just like going on to the next game. Oh, I guess I can. Yeah, this is just like super duper unfortunate here. I mean, we looked at, we saw 15 cards and we didn't find a second land, which is sometimes the cost of doing business here. And another big thing why I play Liliana the Veil is like, I don't think Last Hope's that good right now. And I don't think, I think K Command is like, okay. So like, I just wanted other grindy pieces. And even if they're narrow, like I, oop, and even if they are narrow, I'll take them. All right, let's get out of this. I don't like playing Lily and Snapcaster decks. Yeah, well, I think that you're, you, you, you can play Liliana the Veil and you can play Liliana the Veil against control decks. Um, you have to leverage it correctly, I think. Like, like I, th I think a lot enough people, like, a lot of people just plus their Liliana too much, in my opinion. And sometimes you can just put it out there and you can just hold it, you know? And I think that, like, you do have to be afraid of Bloodbright Elf out of the Black Green X decks. But if you're playing against The Rock, it's very good. Um... <clears throat> so like I think that the card I think the card has merit like it's not as good as it used to be but I also kind of want a card for specific reasons what is this should I just take a cycler I kind of just want to take their I could take a cycler to just hope they brick off more but they're just going to cycle into cyclers I'm just going to take their mana the archfiend yeah I'm just going to take their mana Hopefully just buy me more time. And there are some times where it's correct to play your Liliana or play your deck on a narrow margin. Like if you can do that. All right, that's a that was a pretty nice draw. Uh, I probably should have fetched a Steam Vents. Because now I have to go get Blood Crypt. Yeah, that was that was not good. I should have gone fetch steam vents, thought scour. <clears throat> and also, like, I don't think that you need to, like, like, Death Shadow is becoming the premier fair deck again. So, like, in your fair slot, I think it's okay to play a card that is better against the Death Shadow decks and worse against the other ones. I think, I think that's fair to do. Um, they did horror. They drew that. This could not. This could end up pretty poorly for the home team. Like if we draw a stubborn denial here, we're gonna feel stupid. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. Let's get our steam vents, and we'll give them the green light because they're gonna go for it anyways. But this is slightly out of sequence, but oh, all right. Oh, this is a nice draw. Hopefully they haven't hit two. We're gonna need to like accomplish more stuff here soon, but something that's kind of annoying is that surgical extraction isn't that great against this deck. Like my choosing graveyard hate isn't super good unless I can nab like a cascader and surgical it. Sometimes you just hit the living end, and that's, you know, the stones, but. All right, I'm just going to take the cycler that's most mana efficient. Because we're going to kill them before that Archfiend comes down. Just make it so, it's kind of like playing against Burn. When you, uh, when you take like just take their one mana spell and their two mana spells do the same thing because you just want to choke their mana. And we're just kind of playing on the seat of our pants here. They're, they're paying costs in their main phase. That can't be good for the home team. Yes, ley line is much better here. For sure. 
there's not a lot of like graveyard quantity decks that matters. There's like pinpoint. There's I think there's a lot of pinpoint graveyard decks right now, which is I think surgical is better overall. But graveyard quantity matchups, surgical is not very good. This is very good. That being said, we're still going to bring our surgicals in because there's a chance that they just have like mono. Um, Moto's tweaking out. My internet's tweaking out. No. <clears throat> Come on, Moto. I'm going to get some more coffee while this uh, sorts itself out. All right, looks like we're back. They just cycled one thing on their turn. Okay. Um, we're just going to refresh the stream here. Our... Okay, it looks like we're all right. Well, not ideal. We're still going. Okay. So we're going to attack, and then I'm going to thought seize them again. And Surgical also plays very well with Snapcaster Rage. So we only need one more attack. Like, if our opponent fetches one more time, they're dead. Though they're going to be able to Archfiend next turn, so we have to take the Simeon Spirit Guide. We don't want them to hit an Archfiend. I should have played a land. We don't have a good plan to this second Archfiend. But our opponent gets two looks at a payoff. And if they get it, they get it. Oh, I need to go back here, get this set up. I'm all over the place. I'm a little loosey-goosey this morning. The fact that they cycled is good for the home team. Okay, look at those fatal pushes. I don't believe they have any instant speed life gain, so we can just go bolt you. Or maybe they don't. Okay, they're just cycling this. I think. I think we're good. We're sending a message. All right. Okay. So against this deck, we want our stub and we want our surgical extractions and potentially our snapcaster mage. Cards that are not good. Now, our opponent could ley line us. And if our opponent ley lines us, like good on them, we're not going to play around that after the first sideboard game. I think Snapcaster is better than each one of these. The only other card that I might want to bring in is Lightning Bolt, because Lightning Bolt can supercharge our draw. I don't think Bolt's better than Snapcaster Mage, so we're just going to submit and go. That is my opinion. The stream's still a little choppy. It's, it's trying to like it's like the little the little stream that could here. God, we got brown so bad in that first game. That's gonna be on YouTube too. That's embarrassing. So with any luck, we can surgical um, a cascader or a uh, um, we can hopefully we can surgical a cascader, or we might just get lucky and spike a living end, which would be the uh, the stone cold Steve Austin. All 
right, well, we're on the draw. We have two looks at a land. Liz's hand is not super good elsewise. But again, here comes like the... This is the mistake that I made yesterday. But like, I don't think I'm going to keep this. But, you know, if we just look here. Again, we have population size is 53. We've got 17 successes. We actually have more than that because we have 20 because we have a street race. Um, we have two, and all we have to really do is hit one land. So, like, because we're on the draw, like, we theoretically have a 60% chance to hit. And we get another draw at it. So that makes my sample size three. Yeah, so, like, according to this, we have a 76% chance to hit a land. Oh, no, we have two because we don't get a spread. So, while this it might be wild, um, I think I'm going to go with it for science here. Like, I, I understand this being wrong. We're just learning here, and we're going to go for it. Search rules are like 45 tickets right now, I think. Yeah. I'm just doing this right now for science. We're going to see. I'm starting to get into the more than the numbers of the stack, and we're going to try to see if we can do this by the numbers. And, like, I don't think that I would have the stones to keep this. Land. Okay. So now we just chill out, or we can, I think it's probably most important to Serum Visions, and then in order to set up our second land, and then we can go, uh, we can get nasty, because we're not going to need a Surgical next turn. Watch this video on YouTube for Sketch Your Live, thanks for contacting me. Hey, no problem, Soul Ring. Uh, we're going to put both of these on the bottom, and we'll pass. Yeah, we wanted to hit. We wanted to, like, set up our second land, and at least we went through a bunch, like, went through a bunch of cards to find out. If we had our second land rolled up, I'd pass and Thought Scour, but we do not. Alas. No cycle. It's good for the home team, I guess. The stones. So I'm actually just going to play a shadow because I cannot Gurmag Angler and leave up Stubborn Denial. I would Wraith Man. Yeah, you're right. I should have done that. It's not like I had a Serum Visions or anything like that. I'm going to get another. I kind of want to get. I guess I can get blue red and then cast the shadow off of this. I didn't think about that. Finally, watch stream. Usually, I watch on YouTube. Are you from the U.S.? I'm from the U.S. I live in Washington D.C., the District of Columbia. If this dies, this dies. Cycle wraith. Some kind of cool is if we actually get some chip shots in with a shadow. We have two street wraiths in our yard. Though, it might be right for me not to tap out on my end step. Yeah, so because they can instant speed, like Demonic Dread or whatever. These. Now I kind of just want to, like, beat with this shadow and not play the Gurmag Angler. Because, like, we can just sit here and, like, I don't think my opponent's going to be able to beat this. Because I think we're so far ahead now, we're going to start playing, like, how do we lose territory. And how we lose is they go, like, beast within, beast within. Because, like, we got to counter this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait. I might angler next turn when I can hold up snap. 
uh, snap stub, but like let's just play conservatively. Signal to me to see your videos. Uh, will you make some straight, John? I did for a little while. I had some of oh, the straight, like the three color version. Are you talking about? I played. I played some four color. I put up like I don't know, maybe half a dozen four color videos about two weeks ago. I was pretty high on the four color deck until. Uh, okay, until the uh, they're going for it here. I was pretty high on the four color deck until. Um, yeah, so if they have like Ricochet Trap here, I'm going to hurl. Like they need Simeon Spear Guide Ricochet Trap. Peace. Um, I was pretty high on it a couple weeks ago. But then like Grix of Shadow won a PG won a, won a GP. All right, we could we could just do it here. Fetch land. Um, tail. Oh, put on the. I guess we just go put on top. Put on top. We bobble our opponent. Attack for eight. We're not even gonna surgical. We're gonna wait for our opponent to invest the mana, and then we're gonna do it. Because like they can play something like a full mayor mage here or something like that. So like I, they're gonna have a pretty tough time winning through, you know, negate plus surgical. Especially considering we can just surgical living end with the demonic trial on the stack. You got it. You got it, dude. All right, keep it going. All right, so now the Snapcaster's lethal if, you know, we didn't already have the Gravy Train going. I'm going to start to go living end at the end step. Okay. All right. These, 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 these. Dude, y'all want to check out my sweet cube deck while we're waiting here? Dude, I've already been paired. Check this cube out. Check this deck out. I don't exactly know how good this deck is, but it's a lot of fun. I've played one match. But I've got like the Tinker, Force of Will, Black Lotus, Jace the Mind Sculptor, with Entomb, and Anime Dead, with Unburial Rites and Gifts. Deck's pretty sweet. I played one match of it today, and it was against White Weenie, which I think would be a pretty poor matchup, and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. But that's the one that if you cast it, you play, you put a card into play, right? Like it's X, play X. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep this hand. It's got a little bit of everything, really. We get a lot of card selection. I think I played against this guy earlier, and he was playing Merfolk, but he said he was going to play Shadow at GP Open. Hopefully there's not a lot of people playing the Fairies deck that won. That's interesting. So if they are a shadow deck, they have many other lands, because this is just such a bad land to search for, or they have not a lot of lands that have a faithful sitting. Alright. That's nice. We can get a turn two fish with stub back up, which is nice. So we do want that. And we're gonna just upkeep Bobble our opponent, because we're we're going to use our mana no matter what, so the scry doesn't really do a lot for us. Inquisition. Inquisition kind of sucks because you know that unless they kept the land, yeah, do they have black land? If they go cantrip, if they go cantrip into, we're in pretty good shape. I might just thought scour here. Yeah, I'm just gonna thought scour. If they stub it, they can't do anything. They'll probably take my stubborn denial. And I think that we can still angle like they can't angler me. It's, it's like if they if they take the shadow instead of the stubborn denial, I think that means that they have uh 
They have like a dismember. But they take the stubborn down instead of the shadow, excuse me. Yeah. Oh. So maybe they have their own. That's odd. Because now you just get anglered, right? And I, I mean, I don't know. They might have like a couple outs to that, but. We could get maximum cheese factor with these lightning bolts. Uh, we can ditch the Death Shadows because we don't have any recursion. Did he, he taught me to GP. Um, okay. It's going to kind of suck if I've got to double bolt. Like, I think I'll double bolt a Gourmet Angler for my opponent. Double bolt Shadow. No, we have a Fatal Bush. Yeah. He beat me in round three. All right, we're getting angler or we're getting dismembered here. What's going on? This looks like we're. This looks like looks like our opponents get nasty. I wish that it didn't do this because like sometimes you don't want that to happen. Like sometimes um, you don't want people to see like they are paying costs. And it's just obvious what they have. What do you got? You got a shadow. Okay, we're just gonna bolt this shadow. We're gonna push this shadow EOT. Um, what if they stub? No, we'll wait so that we can stub back. Dismember off the top would be nice. All right, that's not bad. And because we have another angler... I'm going to try to trade anglers here. We get steam vents so that we can double red. So that's five. Yeah, I'm definitely just going to attack because if they if we trade anglers, if we can then cast another angler, and if they don't trade anglers, they're dead to my lightning bolt over two turns. Getting nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting nasty with Germasty, baby. I really dislike this card in this deck if you're not playing uh, Ley Lines, for what it's worth. I think the time that you, like, Christmas land, turn five, dit turn three, ditch two lands is just, like, not worth the fact that sometimes you have to discard spells. <clears throat> Radio, how's it going? I think if you have surgical, the is it Phoenix matchup is very good. Okay, we're going to bolt now because they can only have one stub. And we can just pay for it. Yeah, nothing is free in Magic. Okay, all the red cards come out. And then these come in. Now, I bring in 
Like I might cut an angler after sideboard if they if we see them play ley lines. Oh, I want my snapcaster mage. Whoopsie. I'm gonna hedge and cut a ley line, cut an angler in case they have ley line of the void. One girl that shadow. I see. Yep, yep. We played this. Uh, played this yesterday. The Saint seventy five. I got twenty fifth in the challenge. And I, I, I punted against Ironworks, and I think I punted against Dredge. I'm not sure if I punted versus Dredge or if the result of my play was just so like just got me destroyed. So I'm just, I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, our opponent chose to play first, which we shouldn't let happen. Well, that's what she shouldn't do. You should draw on the Shadow Mirrors. Just everything just trades, and you just want one more card. I'm going to keep my hand. My hand's not super good, but, like, again, we can't mulligan. Like, you just don't want a mulligan. You want anything that does anything in these shadow mirrors. If my opponent thought sees me, I'm not going to cycle my street raid, so I can just have six. If they want to take my street raid, they can take my street raid. That's your right. Yeah, you can have it. Okay. It's a good take. Nice. You have a discard spell. You have a discard spell. Bobble. Tapped. So, what do you have upon it? You're going to stub this? You're going to stub my Thought Scour? That's pretty loosey goosey. All right. Check out the top card here before we do anything. Stub. Stub's not good. I'm going to just get another Watery Grave. We, the only red cards we have is a Colgon's Command. We need a third land for that anyways. Okay. So let's not play into a Stubborn Denial because they have more uh, Stubborn Denials. Than dismembers after sideboard, probably. I'm going to make my delve easier. Do I cycle? I'm going to let him see the Inquisition. Yeah, we can get rid of a serum visions. And if you have a dismember, you have a dismember, like good on ya. Playing a land tap makes sense for a dismember, but I think they have more answers. No, okay. These. We can't kill a last hope here, which kind of sucks, but we can knock it down to one. Playing these Shadow Mirrors is pretty fun until the game, like, like while you're trading with everything, the game's fun. Until, like, when it comes to the point where if you've each played well and exhausted each other's resources, it's just awful. I put two cards on top. I'm going to Thought Scour them. Tilt. 
If they put two more cards on top, I might thought scar them still. Because our graveyard being, they put two cards on top. All right, let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Disdainful stroke. You don't say. I think this is just a Gurmag Angler. If they want to take the time to do this, they can, like, whatever. They probably kept a third land on top, like a Stubborn Denial. So we're going to take this Angler. We're going to Thought Scour them. Um, I'm going to cycle now because I could hit a land to play this, which we didn't. Double TBR, Post Sideboard, and Disdainful Stroke. Yes. Um, we can't kill him, so we might as well just like. All right, Snapcaster Mage. All right, let's just take all the cards that matter. Yeah, this was not a good sideboard plan from our opponent. And we didn't sideboard. I mean, like, we took out an angler. I mean, we were worried about Leyline, but this is no bueno from the opponent. There's not, they don't have a draw. Yeah. Bonus is GG. GG. All right, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, if you have any need for Magic Online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. As you know, they have a pro team. They make it so a lot of streamers can happen. The Card Hoarder Network is pretty huge. It's got people like Emma Handy. Uh, misplaced gingers in it. Jim Davis is in it. So the card hoarder network brings to you probably a lot of entertainment that you don't realize. So if you have magic online needs, you should tear a card hoarder. Um, Gamer Craze is where I learned to play magic up in upstate New York. Their crystal commerce is linked below. They have a really competitive buying system because they foster like there's four colleges right there. So you should check them out. Um, you should check out my YouTube page. That's also linked below. All of my streams are archived on YouTube, so if you ever want to catch the replay, go over there and subscribe. I'm getting, I'm working, my, I'm marching my way up to being monetized there, so I appreciate that. If you want to interact with me on about magic, I'm really good at getting back to people, so you should check me out on Twitter, which is linked below. All right, we're back here. The old no land heater. Yeah, that's why I said like. The mirror, the mirror is like a really annoying, like, it's like you have to trade well, trade well, trade well, trade well. And then it just turns out to like at a top deck, which is like the same thing every Thoughtseize mirror comes to, which is just like makes it so annoying. Yeah. I made a mistake of that in the challenge. So in the challenge, um... And this is probably my fault, but Moto sifted through. They're probably playing Bottles, if I had to guess. Um, Moto made it so that I, and it's probably my fault because I hit a button, but it made it so that I couldn't fetch Shock to grow my Shadow to eat both of my opponent's creatures. So, like, Moto kind of messed me up there. And I accidentally, like, I didn't accidentally, but, like, I, in the chat, I was like, oh, Moto and my opponent. And I was like, I shouldn't have done that. So I think we're playing against Boggles, and they put a card on the bottom. Okay, so let's see if we can get a little more information. Because, like, if this is a Boggle, then I'm going to Thought Scour them. Blight Agent. We're playing against Infect. Okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call a good matchup. Oh, wrong screen still. Okay. My bad. 
Well, I, I know what's up, dude. Like, I, I already bobbled you. Yeah, so I, I basically, um, they went Winsome Teeth Pass. I bobbled them, and I see what they're doing. And then they're like, I can see now. I'm like, oh, well, dude, like, what are you going to do? All right, against Infect on the draw. I just want everything that kills anything. So I tend to dislike uh, the counter magic in this matchup. Like, I don't like counter magic. I don't like battle rage. Because I think it's just better to have every, like, every spell in my deck just impact the board. You know? So this obviously changes if they have, like, if they have cards like, um, if they have cards like Nissa or, um, Nissa or whatever it is. Invisible Stalker, I like to sideboard differently. But I think in the draw, on the play, because I can literally, I have enough removal to just run them out of resources 100%. And I think that is the plan. I like to just go like a full control deck. So. Yeah, that happens. That happens for sure. I appreciate everybody that just came through with the follows. Um, uh, Pier, Pier Core, Pier Core, you're the guy that runs the Mort, right? I appreciate your follow. I'm sorry if I, if I butchered your name. And, uh, Herbivores and Cestarns, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to bring, I, I like to bring Liliana in on the play. Just, I'm, a, I'm just such a big Liliana fan that. I'm going to have that card in on the play a lot. And I'm going to board Battle Rage back in if they have Invisible Stalker. If they have Invisible Stalker, I'm going to change how I board a lot. I am the guy who runs Mort. You are the Mort man. Actually, this hand wasn't that great. I thought one of these was a push. All right, let's see if we can find a Fatal Push on the top of our deck. We also wouldn't mind a second land. We're in the market for that too. So let's just go. I tried downloading more on my computer, but it, it wouldn't it gave me an error message. I think it was something with my computer. Like my computer didn't like it. Okay. Um so my opponent just goes Mike. If they draw a mutagenic growth, they just kill me. So I think I'm just going to take this Mite. We're going to take Vines. Because like what my opponent's going to do, my opponent should push for damage next turn. So I kind of just want to take this Mite of Old Croja. Or I could go Blossoming Defense, go here, go here, play a Shadow next turn, be able to block. I don't want to take this spell skite. Not taking spell skite. All right, sounds good. We'll do that after today. So this is interesting because I shouldn't have kept my hand because I thought one of these was a fatal push, but um, like they might just go might attack to get in for five points, which is kind of okay. So I could just take Vines, but if they draw Mutagenic Growth, I die. I think I'm going to take Vines. I don't know what to do. If they just go Might Attack, then whatever. Let's just chew through these. All right, we hit another land, which is good. I don't really... Okay, so now I can spell Skype. But that's okay, because we can go... Take... Um, we can double discard here, and if we draw another land, Kologon's Command should clean all this up. So let's see what they're drawing. Uh, if they would have drawn Mutagenic Growth, they'd have killed me. Because 2, 4, 5... Okay, no, I wouldn't have died, right? My math's off. Because this only gives plus 4. Okay, I wouldn't have died. I wouldn't have died. I made a, I, I made a mistake. 
Alright. Them drawing lands is nice. Is it? I think it's only because might is only four, right? That's eight, nine. So we're going to take Blossoming Defense. I'm going to take Blossoming Defense and Mutagenic Growth because they might might have all crows on their main phase. So let's take Blossoming Defense. Take mutagenic growth. Yeah, math is hard. I messed it up too. Looks like they're just going to go for it. No, they're just going to crack me. Nope, they're going to do it. Okay. So now if I draw a land, this K command is pretty nice. Because we just go like Shatter Shock. Okay. And we're just going to do that on our main phase. So we just get the twofer. I'm going to get a Steam Vents. Just have another blue source. Though, do I have to play a Shadow? Because 8, I attack, I play my Shadow 9. I have to play a Shadow. I have to play a Shadow and hope they miss, and then I can Colgon's Command next turn. It should work. Like, if it, if it doesn't work, it's Moto. Right, because this is already a target. It's like you if you go Electrolyze. No, I mean, it's already a target. Because, yeah, it's already to a target of it. Right? I mean, that should work. But I need, I need to play a Shadow anyways. Because, like, I'll lose the race to just the Ink Moth. Yeah, I think that's... I don't think that's right. But, like, I'm not a rules expert. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you still get to do both modes. We're not blocking. We do have to draw something. Nope, they, they just went for it. That's that's bold. Well, I guess they have the spell sky, so we need two things. Yeah, see, I, I played that. I just played that poorly. That was all my fault. I think I'm going to play. I'm going to bring one of these in and cut this. I thought that one of I thought one of these was a removal spell, but I ended up being wrong there. Can it's good to know. Can spell skite redirect Colgan's command? I control the Skull Sky and a Blight Agent. My opponent has Colgan. Choose to destroy Spell Sky and shoot the agent. Does that work? Okay. Signal if I got a point is higher. So I can use that trick. Although that was my understanding, my opponent refused to accept my citation. Yeah, it looks like you're right. So is it like you can't do it with Electrolyze because it's bing bing, right? Because Electrolyze doesn't say another. Okay. I would like the spot removal.
Okay. This hand is not good. This hand is fantastic because this card is fantastic. This card just like bang, 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 bang. We can even deal like if they if they like hold off for a uh, um. We're gonna put this on top just so they know. We're gonna fetch anyways, but then it's like at least it makes them maybe think about it. We're gonna get Blood Crypt with Scalding Tarn. This is something that I miss when I play on Moto and I stream, but like you should leave with Scalding Tarn a lot, I think, because it's your worst land. My Snapcaster Mage could get a little awkward. Because I don't, I don't, I want all my cards to impact the board. Yes, this is the wrong art. All right, show me your mutagenic growth. Okay. So let's take mutagenic growth. And then say hello. Say hello to my little friend. Bang. Ooh, they brought this in. All right, Ink Moth. Let's get our Serum Vision on. Now they're a little priced in. All right, heater. And I think I'm just gonna attack. Well, no, we're gonna make them. We're gonna make them go for it here. And if they do, we'll just shoot them. We could shoot ourselves. So that's five damage. We know their hand. Yeah, I'm going to shoot myself. Oh, that's kind of loose, actually, when I think about it because of Invisible Stalker. We also could hold up, we could just not play anything. We could hold up Lava Dad and Colagon's Command, but that's kind of loose, I think. All right, Pendlehaven, do your worst. You want to crack in here? Hey, quit it. Dude, you have to have just absolute stones of steel to do this. I think. Wow. Yeah, they have that the relic changes things for sure. So we know they have spell pierce. I'm just gonna yield through this turn because I want to have a second piece of interaction because of spell pierce, and I can still just K command make them discard, return my street wraith. Yeah, I put Wraith on top. So now they have Spell Pierce up. This could get a little hairy. I have to make sure to not blow this. So might, 
So we fetch. We probably just get Island. We don't need our Shadow to be any larger. So we're just like dead. No, we're actually just dead to mutagenic growth. Huh. They had mutagenic growth. What a tilt. Target player discards a card, destroy target artifact. Oh, no, we're not dead. We're not dead, because I can destroy the artifact. Derp. No, I'm, we are dead, because of the spell pierce. I should have Colagon's commanded first, right? No, because then they still just spell pierce. Right, did I toss that? Right, because it doesn't matter, because I go, like, bing... They spell pierce, I don't pay. I then shoot, they mutagenic growth. Huh. Right, there was no way around that. Right? They just drew, they drew what they needed. Right? What a kick in the balls. It's a really solid matchup. That's a tough one to lose. That is a tough one to lose. But again, my opponent's deck is very good. Like I, I think that any deck that is like really good at playing one and zero mana spells is always good in modern. So like, good, good on my. my I, I think my opponent is playing one of the best strategies to win, and that's to play the most zero mana spells in modern in one mana. That's why the Phoenix deck is good. All right, let's keep this. Yeah, a little unfortunate, but again, that's life. We have a YouTube subscriber here. So all of you in chat should go over and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I think we are discard spelling regardless here. So we can check out what they did. They put a card on the bottom. I always like discard spelling my opponent, the Mulligans. They're drawing a forest. Okay, so we're going to take Bob, take Witness, and then figure it out. But we know they're drawing forests. So we're playing the rock. This should be fun. Tough matchup, but fun. If it's a good strategy to play as many one scene as possible, it would be great if I play four talents and put your spirit. Yes. I I under I understand what you are doing there. How do you say it? Is it Pitor or no, it's Pierre Car? Because Pitor is canister, right? I should have Serum Visions first. I mean it's not gonna change what I take there. But I still probably should have Serum Visions first. All right, um, Snapcaster Mage is what we are looking for. I don't think, yeah, I don't think snaps are too slow for the matchup there, Maya Chan. I think that, like, we ran into a pretty unfortunate thing there. It's like, because we can, we can actually run them out, 100% run them out of resources, which I think is the best way to win. Oh, my Snapcaster's on top, friend. This smells like a nice Snap Serum Visions from the home team. They can field me off of my Scries, but we get a 2-1 in play with another card, so. Yeah, we're going to snap Serum Visions. And I probably just get Steam Vents. Because if they feel this, I get a black. It's a little awkward. Now, I'm going to get a Water Grave. If they want to cut me off of red, 
We still have the Fatal Push. And my red spells aren't that great right now. I, don't, I just don't want to be able to cast like one black spell for the rest of the game. We know the last card's push. We could hit it, but I would rather just like dig do like a Gurmag Angler or something or set up a couple draws. Though, if they spend their whole turn fielding me, I think I'm okay with it. Boy, I love you with this in my rock deck. Yeah, and there's there's our nasty boy. We just gotta hope our opponent. But if our opponent fields us, they field us. And it is nice that we can not be cut off red here. Pira Piracor. Piracor, okay. Yeah, I mean they can't beat Snapcast Mage, but I can't beat Liliana the Veil. Uh, Overseer Morty, thank you very much for the subscription. Sorry I missed it. I, I keep my mo my volume off because it messes with my uh, the Inquisition really because it messes with my um. Why didn't they field and then go then do it? That's just weird because it messes with my uh, YouTube audio. But I appreciate the subscription. You demand. I probably could figure it out if I was better at it. Snap is worth more than field. But like you're you're getting another card and a body, right? Um Thought Seizes have worn out that welcome. Let's get this Tarmogoyf tiny. Then let's be able to kill Tarmogoyf. I probably should have delved one more, to be honest. Left like a cantrip in my graveyard. We track in. They see me track and tracker's good. Tracker's good card here. I was playing this in modern right when it came out. Like I was very, very high on this card. I'm gonna shock myself. I probably eh, I should have played that. That's okay. So now we're kind of forcing the trade here. We still have one more fetch land. Even when I have a push and a bolt in my hand, like, because I think it's, I think there's an argument for Snapcaster Inquisition more than um, the line that you're suggesting. Turn off all eels. You're probably, they're probably going to push. Ooh, they had the trophy. It's a good draw. Now, do I play my Death Shadow? I probably play my Death Shadow because I don't want them to go like if they if they they can't draw Black Source and Liliana, and if they play Black Source plus Liliana, then and I only have a Snapcaster, I don't only have Snapcaster in play. It's pretty bad for me. But now, if they if they hit Black Source, draw step Liliana. I can at least still kill the Liliana because they can't get triple black. If they go like tar if they draw like a Tarmogoyf here, that's not good. But they can't go, they can't go like Tarmogoyf. Well, I guess they can go like push Bob. Okay. All right. I probably should have played my fetch land to just threaten a lethal, but it's not like, I mean, they're just going to do this anyways because it shuts off the fetch land. So we've got one more bolt and we've got two more Snapcaster mages. If we want to talk about just reach. Wasteland me. I don't feel good about this game at the moment. Because like all they need is like a, like a scavenging ooze or a tarmogoy for a Liliana, and we're just like super dead. I hope their hand is just like mono discard spells.
Are you gonna field a red source? Okay, you got it. What do you got? What's your last card? We are running hot. Street Wraith actually be a pretty good draw here. Alright, I'm gonna fetch. Where's my other blood curve? Did I mill it over? One. Did I mill over my blood crypt? Yeah, I did. No. That's one of them. I've got two. Blood crypt. Where'd my blood crypt go? Am I losing my mind? There's one. What is going on? I could be losing my mind here. Leon's are wearing the shadow of this. No, I played two. Oh, I only played one today. Oh, yeah, 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 because I, uh, I copied Ben Jones' Mana Maze. Usually play two. Yeah, I copied Ben Jones' Mana Maze, so I only have the one crypt there. Yep. I, I played the third Scalding Tarn. Which, I mean, reasons like this, I do like playing the second Black Source. Now I can't cast Wraith either. Yeah, you get my Battle Rage. So they, they probably have one card left. It's probably a removal spell, and we're not going to win. Which is sad. God, we are. We are running. Running hot. That is a tough one to lose. I thought we were way ahead. I felt real good about where we were. Don't kill my shadow. I mean, they, they have to have a removal spell. It just makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one to lose, chat. That is a tough one to lose. All right, so we want these. This. No, we don't want the abrade. Uh, this is a maybe. Uh, we don't want these. So they have Bob and Scavenging Ooze, but Bolt isn't that great outside of that. So I have to cut three cards. I could cut two Stubborn Denials. But I like Stubborn Denial more now that they have Trophy. I could shave on a Wraith. Leave only, only have two bolts is probably fine. I'm going to shave on a Denial. I like Bobble to be able to delve. Like, it does grow belief. Real talk, where's Philly? I will draw. Philly boy is napping. It's hard to be Phil. If he wasn't napping, I would show him to the chat. I'm sorry, Kish. No, we don't cut discard, Mr. Cookies. We don't do that here. 
We don't do that here. Spellbomb's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Dude, it's hard to be him. All right. So we're gonna take this veil, because that thing's gonna kick our teeth in. The last hope's also a problem. This is a tough one here, because like they just have such a good, they, they, they have an overall higher quality of cards. Or higher density. Um, so now we will get steam vents. Let's see what we got coming. We're gonna cast. We're gonna take. We're gonna nab this last out. All right, what are the odds? I don't think they're going to let us do any of this angler. So I'm going to put both of them right here. We're going to discard spell. This Kalidus is a little scary, but we're going to have to figure that out. But we're going to get rid of this because this thing's going to body us. Next turn, we're probably going to get Wily with our Street Wraiths here. Did they not get the memo? No memo was gotten. You got a cyclist, right? All right, if you want to get another card out of me, you can get another card out of me. DeFish, thank you very much for the follow. This is just absolutely wild. You just pissed away a mana on your turn to get my bobble. You crazy. Bob. I can't be Bob. Well, at least we get a million looks at something. Though this Bob is <laughs> going to be so bad. This thing resolves. All right. We draw. Row, row. Well, the good thing is we're going to be able to cast Angler. The uh, bad thing is we're going to be at like three life. We don't want that. Let's go get a basic. God, a Liliana the Veil here would be nuts. All right. Nice. Tilt. Dang it. So my opponent's going to get a card, which is unfortunate. But we're going to get rid of this, this, this. And our Gurmag Angler. Um, I could just... Leave both of the leave the thought scour and pay one more mana, but we might hit a bolt. So we're not gonna be take commanding back an angler. Alright. Oh another Kalidas. Pulse. Oh my god. Uh, we are population dead. Did I not have did I have the option for a push? Did I delve over a push, just not paying attention? I'm confused. Okay, they kill that. We're flashing the Snapcaster Mage in. We're going to eat this.
Get out of here. Tarmogoyf. Uh, this did not work out very well for the home team here. If Bobble did reveal it, it was no bueno. So we can just snap. I think we can snap Dismember our way out of this turn, but then we have Bloodstained Mire versus five cards. Um... Right, this is we're gonna do the damage first because we do have a couple outs to killing this thing. Yeah, dude, we're we're screwed. Yeah, Liliana the Veil will be very good here. Oh man, we had two very unfortunate last end of our games here. All right. Oh, that was tough. All right, I had to buy some tickets. Hang on.